in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed this is a very uncomfortable truth but we have to admit it because our lives and our results show that we obviously are missing it somewhere let me challenge us a bit look at your finances you will agree with me that something is missing somewhere look at your family life married or not if you're married look at your family why the fight why the quarrel it gets worse if both of you are christians look at the children why are they unruly why are they indisciplined how about your job look at the retrogression in our lives are we together now and do you know what most people will say this is what we say i don't know what i don't know why things are not working I've taught you here and I will drum it until it enters your spirit. Nothing works by itself. Nothing works by itself. Marriage does not work by itself. Spiritual life does not work by itself. Becoming blessed and wealthy does not work by itself. Becoming employed, becoming responsible does not work by itself. Becoming a virtuous lady, becoming a responsible man does not work by itself brothers and sisters growing spiritually does not work by itself becoming transformed does not work by itself everything in life must be engaged with wisdom to produce are we together now our confusion in life is because our intentions are not our results what we desire is not what we see so we desire a particular outcome but certain other outcomes keep happening and they keep repeating themselves regardless of the strategies we are trying ask any family represented here they will tell you we are tired of suffering we are tired of argument we are tired of pain can't we live in peace then they hold a meeting and say let's live in peace they all agree two days later everybody has gone haywire do you know why because the issue is not counseling the issue is the bankruptcy of certain informations our unwillingness to admit that time does not give knowledge please can you just flow just play something to flow hallelujah time does not impart knowledge time never never decides anything time only reveals I can go on my knees tonight and beg every one of you listening to me here listening online we're not acting on stage this thing is not a drama we're trying to act called ministry we're talking about transforming people there there is an exact formula you have to understand this there is a programming society has programmed our minds Africa has been programmed in a certain way demons have worked with informations for years and decades they have come from culture to culture from university to university from college to college from school to school they have indoctrinated men into thinking and understanding life in a particular way that is producing unfavorable outcomes listen pain will never produce change it only reveals the need for change that you are going through an unfavorable situation does not mean it will change that you are crying and saying oh god will you not wipe my tears it may provoke the mercy of god but every time god wants to show you mercy he does two things he sends his word and he sends men 
the solution to our problems our challenges the doors we trust and hope to open are shrouded in men and informations you reject men you reject truth you will die it says love me proverbs chapter 4 paraphrasing right that i will preserve you i will glorify you i will put an ornament of glory upon you please listen to me the hardest person the hardest person to ever help is the man and the woman who is resistant to change the moment an individual holds on to an old idea and old information whether theologically established philosophically established educationally established it doesn't matter what the basis is for as long as you are unwilling to open up your mind for the vetting and the probing of the spirit if per adventure the information you have carried on through your life is wrong there is nothing embarrassing about discovering that you have believed a lie you can change there is always time for a meek and a humble person who will say look i believe there has to be why am i a bad father begging and begging and 50 years we are still staying in a rented apartment i love god something is wrong why is there no favor in my life everything i lay my hands to do doesn't work listen listen this is not the issue of man of god pray for me this is the issue of submitting yourself to say i know that i am missing something because your life is producing a result it's just that it's a result you don't want if your life were not producing pain is a result failure is a result it means you are activating certain principles unknowingly limitations are results am i blessing you tonight let's not act as if god is so wicked and cannot help us and cannot change us and cannot lift us hear me your life and my life is at the mercy of our understanding of the systems of the kingdom provided we submit ourselves to understand it i give you a guarantee your light will come but for as long as we sit down and allow demons to build fortification along our wrong thinking our wrong mindset we argue and insult and move in pride especially for we the men because you see men our that sense of authority and dominion sometimes the false version of it has eaten us up the fact that we have accessed certain information for years does not mean it is valid a whole nation can be wrong that an information is old does not make it right it's been there but it's not right are we together our society is full of needless pain and sorrow sorrow upon sorrow there are families today that cannot live in peace they love god tongue talking some of them are even working in the vineyard of god but the systems of God that have been allocated to make for peace is not there. Divorce rates are soaring. Young people marrying the lifetime of marriages, two years. Lovely people, educated, they love God. Once upon a time, they could not sleep until they talked with themselves. Two years later, they hate themselves. What do you not know? Why do people fail? a family of 10 people nobody ever rises beyond certain barriers we we say demons yes it is the obvious reason but not the only reason something authorized them a door was open to them most of us the demons have been casted yet our lives have not changed because there is an equation that will have to commit us commit our understanding and our participation anybody who is unwilling to listen to this has failed not will fail has failed hallelujah when i understood the systems of god my life changed do you know someone sent me a text today lamenting and languishing on a lot of things in his life you know certain monies he was hoping he can get and he said if i can just get this 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 i will have peace i said no sir 
no sir you can have peace now peace is a revelation peace is a revelation it is not the product of the arrival or departure of certain factors peace is a revelation you can choose to be frustrated and wrinkle yourself to death our society is full of angry people whose lack of understanding has added to their age young people looking old why because a revelation has programmed them even their bodies they have wrinkled themselves 10 years ahead of their age moving in anger and frustration I came here tonight to challenge us God is not a magician God is not just a miracle worker God is a God of principles a miracle is a sign that something went wrong and so God intervenes supernaturally to correct it a principle is a sign that things are working as designed are we together now yes every one of us seated here came from a family listen carefully came from a culture and all of our cultures have certain tenets certain understandings foundationally we were indoctrinated with those things as a template for living we have perspectives financially speaking we have perspectives maritally speaking we have perspectives even in our pursuit of godliness we have perspectives in the area of parenting we have perspectives in the area of education and orientation we have perspectives in just our sociological living relationships and most of these perspectives most of it was fabricated by men and women who did not it was not a derivative of the ministry of the holy spirit it came as a result of people carving out a a system of relationship based on their pain their hatred their frustration and let me tell you something that you are born again does not transform you automatically it is only the access point for transformation to start being born again means that you are now authorized to legally begin to engage yourself in transformation there is something that we have allowed we have introduced it like a drug in our spirits in our minds that is cancerous is producing outcomes we do not desire so you see a lot of people and they tell you this is what i want but then their lives never produce it because another system is interrupting your desire and compelling a result that is not consistent with your desire see that so every time you come for koinonia know this that your coming for koinonia is a bailout system god is rescuing you some of you god is single-handedly picking you out of a family of 11 people to say look if you people keep praying and doing night vigils you will do it forever the, the spiritual dimension is ready to be corrected but there is a level of partnership with the holy spirit through knowledge through understanding there is something you must engage nobody nobody is born successful even if you are born into a rich family it is not your success the bible says in joshua chapter 1 verse 8 he said this book of the law shall not depart this compendium of mysteries this this the, the wisest perspective in all matters let it not depart he said but thou shalt meditate therein day and night consistently right he said that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein it leaves you with a promise not a suggestion he says then shall you make your way prosperous and you shall have good there is bad and wicked and foolish success there is good success look at me there is no such thing that god chose one person sam come and said you you will succeed and then chose another person and say you you will fail no way god is very just he created the systems and said anybody that wants to succeed subscribe to it in other words my being successful is not something god just chose to do last week he allocated the pathway the same way when you follow a road the government they, they build the road whoever wants to get to that destination follow it whether a child whether an adult the road does not ask you how old you are provided you are following legally says go 
you don't go to buy a car and they ask you how old you are no no once you can pay for it it is given to you is that true why are we failing why are things not working in our lives why are we sitting down hoping that one day god will change whereas he has decided you see if the will of god is not known to us if the will of god is not known to us we will keep praying foolish prayers and we will keep asking as if it is god's pleasure to watch us go through pain and frustration something we do not know is responsible for these pains and these tragedies please give us jeremiah 29 and verse 11 jeremiah 29 and verse 11 for i know the thoughts that i think towards you this is god speaking thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you other versions say a future and an expected end a defined end not not an end that let's just be going and we hope no 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 an expected end that means there's something god has for me joshua selman in the blueprint of prophecy he designed that i will become something whether or not i become it is not up to him he has designed it it is my cooperation with him that will determine whether i will leave the reality of prophecy there are people god designed to be millionaires as it is they have never touched one million but in the heart in the loins of prophecy is their heritage is their destiny one of the most deceptive statements in the church is if god wants me he has the power to make it it is it is using the truth to kill you are using the truth like a knife and turning it to pierce people to say if god wants it he will make it no there are many things god wants to do that is not yet done on earth it is his will that all men be saved there are men still going to hell the fact that somebody went to hell is a sign that if you don't change nothing will change because if god has people to attend to he will attend to those going to hell first before the issue of rent are we together sorry i'm sure they are working on the sound if it does go off then we are going to pray is that fine promise already gave us uh, so I, I think i've said enough for us to pray for any reason the sound goes off just fire and pray very seriously and say lord what i've had so far you see how my life is going you lay your hands and you pray don't laugh you pray and say father i know i bear witness with the fact that i am confused as i'm standing now i don't know my left from my right i'm just growing older you need to give me direction and decorum hallelujah do you know marriages now are some of the most fearful things once you see two people about to get married the first thing i look is not whether they love themselves the first thing i look is whether they understand the systems of the kingdom you just carry a lady you carry a lady that you want to marry and two of you stand and we say now what is the name of what you are doing you say we love ourselves and uh, we are trusting the lord to live together that's wonderful it's a good starting point but do you understand the mysteries that have been allocated for living for the next 60 years knowing that you will get old she will get old not knowing physically speaking the things that the future holds do you understand the mysteries what if after your wedding night somebody appears and say you took my wife do you know what to do or will you cry this is what we are talking about if you get married to this wonderful lady now for instance and in the night while you are sleeping you are happy wedding night you danced all through the day and on your wedding night a stranger appears and say well in case you don't know they don't marry anyhow from this family and since you came foolishly i am here do you understand that this one is not love again this is spiritual intelligence because many of us will get up and say ah, honey i had a very bad dream let me it's not just a bad dream your life is about to be wrecked into pieces because we live in an environment that we walk through spiritual intelligence now love took you there understanding keeps you understanding keeps you brothers and sisters 
don't say i got born again you have watched seven people from your family the highest time they stayed in their marriages were two years what makes you think you will stay more so it, it is true love your wife but much more than that access the keys access the keys are we together what if your wife gets pregnant and you hear a report and they say the body the baby is turning anyhow and is about to kill your wife what mystery do you know that's no longer love what do you know are you hearing what i'm saying when you start building your house and someone comes the next day you come and see the blood of a goat on they demarcate it on the side of your fence you don't know the person who put it but you put it there and then they leave a letter if you add one more block you will die responsible gentleman you went to school but what are you going to do about that situation listen carefully to what i'm telling you those who are those of our parents fathers and mothers here know they they understand what i'm saying is the young people that are just laughing and joking when you rise and become responsible for your life you know that this world is a fierce place it's not a place of joke at all you see a letter written there nobody has built in this house in this family what gives you the audacity to say you want to start building a house at 27 they put that blood there as a sign be warned can you answer whoever wrote it without seeing him because the person put it and ran away can you carry the block by yourself and drop it and say because of what you said mason we are working day and night ah it's risky to not know how to respond did you hear what i said it's not just dangerous it's risky hear what i'm saying it's risky you go for a wedding and you are dancing and somebody comes to just touch you and hug you and rub all kinds of things on you and go away is there a system of immunity that answers immediately i'm not talking of prayer your life has been equipped already by default that woman touches something and as she's going back headache starts first then the leg stops working and then whatever shrine tells her you made a mistake big mistake you touch somebody who is not just a dancer on a wedding ground there is a warrior quietly seated what do you know that is because of tribalism they look at you and say we are relieving you from your job your wife is not working you are the only one working on account of your faith and integrity because you refuse to bribe are we together they now bring you a sack letter do you know what else to engage so you don't go hungry or will that experience begin the the start of your frustration what do you know and what do you not know this is what i want you to know on earth the days the days i, I was speaking with a jimmy's father-in-law this morning and he was telling me he said kai that during our time it uh, their time now it was a bit easier and he said during our time now the world is spiritual everything i mean you have to be spiritual about everything literally literally many young people are not spiritual i know you are not spiritual because you do not know what to do brothers and sisters when you return home and you see your father beating your mother boxing her you are a stupid woman you are a witch you are a devil as one who has worked with god do you know what to do or will you stand and say let me separate them sorry and you go back to your room and say god when will you wipe our tears do you know what to engage this this is my assignment this year to to equip you to know what to do that issue of man of god pray for me wonderful but what if the man of god is sleeping because it is only the keeper of israel that doesn't sleep joshua selman sleeps and he can slumber we keep carrying heart pain and say i called you by two thirty, sir you were sleeping of course what well, what is the meaning of that of course 
are we together there is something we do not know we allow evil to step into our families and just destroy people like chickens and we sit down and say god i think you have to do something wonderful submit your prayer request at miracle service but much more than that will you be able to rise in intelligence look at the suffering that ravages families financially and do you know the pain it happened is happening to people who love and fear god this is what makes it painful if i don't love god and i don't fear god whatever i get i have to admit it but when i love god and fear god i serve him truly i serve him faithfully and then all of a sudden nothing works lord i'm looking for transport to come to church i can't come for koinonia because there is no transport lord i'm looking for my school fees it's only twenty thousand. it can happen lord my father is about to die i i, we, I just need five thousand for his drugs is it really the will of god to leave you in that pain who taught you is the will of god are we together We have allowed the devil to destroy our lives can i present scenarios right now and ask you what your response will be can i give all of you koinonia right now and say from all you have learned from january till now write the following exam and then i create an imaginary scene my dear we we want to buy a fan for the worship team and we leave the spiritual responsibility to you engage every key you know our own is bring us a fan based on the mysteries do you know what to do what are you going to do what is step one what is step two for many of us step one is to cry step two is to argue step three is to look onto man and and step four is to be frustrated but there are others who know what to do are we together yes some of us right now unfortunately our loved ones have gone to be with the lord like the gentleman who said his father has died the, the gentleman sharing the testimony father died mother died he had to stand in as a young man for his sister but what spiritual intelligence he blessed her because he understood that things don't just happen you don't just have twins just because you you are you think you're a matured man and you have a wife that the realm of the spirit controls this realm he did that like a joke came to the house of god for reinforcement the result was as desired when your result is as desired it meant the principle was correct when you have it the way you want it it means that the principle was correct light my life like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. What do you do if you get up in the morning and just feel a sharp pain? Are you intelligent enough to know what to engage? Please, Koinonia, listen to me. I want you have to learn this thing. My assignment this year is to cause you to be spiritual, to understand the systems of the kingdom, so you know what to do. The salvation of many is dependent on your wisdom, the correct application. You see, the Bible presents the wisest perspective in all matters. The wisest perspective in all matters. I don't trust myself outside of the word of God the bible is not an opinion to choose what to believe and choose what to refuse it's a compendium of the wisdom of god and he says get wisdom 
understand how to apply the keys of the kingdom correctly and you will rise up like an edifice if i get up in the morning right now and my chest starts paining me and i start coughing blood do i know what to do or is it the day i'm in the hospital quarter to die that i start saying which message do i listen to the bible says be instant in season these keys will test you do you understand the keys listen listen the bible tells us there are arrows that fly by day i'm not scaring you is the truth are we together now what gives you guarantee that on your way to travel to kaduna or abuja tomorrow the devil is not planning to kill you what if right now god should open your eyes and you see that in the realm of the spirit they have given you 24 hours to die do you know what to engage it's risky to live not knowing what to do it's riskier to make bold face and bold statements when you have not gotten that key because you will brag and talk and talk and be whipped and punished only god knows how many covens only god knows where and where they have taken my name let this guy die let him not reach august only god knows the demons that have been casted out you think they don't take back reports they ask them from whence comest thou i came from koinonia what happened this mad young man this crazy idiot called joshua selman casted us let's plan can we kill him in two weeks yes two more weeks yes they added two more weeks i'm still standing oh he's about to take a flight can we do something because they will plan no they will plan i i wish what i was i was telling you was a lie on tuesday we are going to Ida for pastor alpha's program what is the guarantee that you will not die in the, on acts in the accident as we are going what is the guarantee that as we are not drive the car will capsize and kill me i'm coming back for sure If I die, you can say I made noise and I died. But for as long as I'm alive, no. I found it here. The wisdom of God. Jesus said, I have the power to lay it down. And the power to pick it up. Did you hear that? Men are given the power to lay it down. And the power to pick it up. Now, don't feel bad if your loved one has gone to be with the Lord. Don't worry, you are alive now. The responsibility is on you you can't receive this for your family you can only intercede for them when it comes to the matters of the kingdom is first a personal affair it must become truth and life to you they are life to those who find them koinonia they are life to those who find them we live in a fierce and a wicked society if someone one of our ladies was giving me a testimony and she said how that someone came to boggle i think to boggle their room or so and carry a laptop now that whoever that thief is has stolen and has gone sad but do you understand a system in the kingdom because you need the laptop and for some of us maybe that laptop just came it was if somebody gave it to you now you are in a straight betwixt you need that laptop what key do i now engage you can't cry forever now that it has gone what do i do are you hearing what i'm saying i wish we had time tonight we are going to pray seriously i would have called a few people at random and would have just created imaginary life scenarios and i would have asked what you have learned so that we don't keep compounding mysteries upon mysteries upon mysteries there are so many other mysteries lined up that you will be learning between now and the end of the year but the key is are you getting it is it spirit and life to you hallelujah are we together one of the mysteries that i'm trusting that the lord god of heaven will help us to conquer is this thing of poverty and lack hello believers hear me 
poverty and what say it poverty and poverty and lack is a mystery i told you poverty is a strategy by satan it's a strategy poverty is not just a state of mind it's a spiritual strategy one of the most effective arsenal of satan for making the lives of people useless we come from different backgrounds with different experiences but we can begin to make our choices and trust god to help us i'm not teaching on on poverty or prosperity tonight but um, my, my assignment tonight is to review and introduce us to the keys my heart I, I it kept burning in me since through the week and i said lord my prayer is that your people your people will get this thing that they will understand it and it will rise hallelujah what do you not know sister what are you still allowing inside your head that is authorizing the devil to make life miserable for you brother what is it that god has been trying to pound out of your life that you are refusing to let go me this is how it is so my my i must am this like that that's how we are in our culture where we come from is it working is it working be honest is it working listen one of the keys of great people is their disloyalty to any information that does not produce there's no such thing as i was born with this if it does not work dump it throw it far from you and embrace that which is capable of blessing you the scribes and the pharisees already knew the truth but because of the ethics of tradition are we together now nicodemus came to jesus by night in john chapter 3 and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god so they knew they were not in confusion but in the daytime they refused why because of the rudiments of tradition the bible says that has made the word of god of non-effect as though it were not powerful could it be that there is something this gentleman can know he's about writing his last exam if not because of the strike i'm sure maybe this week or next week he would have written his exam now and been a confirmed doctor now six seven years ago he, he probably would have been a naive gentleman just with a desire but he passed through a system month after month principle after principle and now after six years he's one exam to go to become a confirmed doctor and every other person called a medical doctor in the world just becomes a senior or junior colleague instantly what is the difference now whereas somebody would be convulsing eight years ago and this guy will stand confused eight years later someone will be convulsing and say it's all right it's something we can handle because something something and information your fear is a sign that you have not learned something thank you you will never be truly free from fear until knowledge bails you out fear is destroying us fear of the future fear of everything fear of death fear of living young people are afraid will i ever be established with a salary of fifty thousand as a graduate when will i ever be able to build a house it will not build you a house what will build you a house is the understanding of the word of god they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their arms save them but thou O lord because thou shown a favor towards them you must understand the keys that are responsible for activating the things that we need in life hallelujah mother there is something you can know that can transform your children could it be that the rebellion from the children is a product of an approach that may be cultural but not scriptural cultural but not scriptural there are men who are taught beats the living daylight out of your wife it's a way of showing her that you are a man 
she does anything bitter once she will behave you have tried it infinite times it has not changed that woman may be a sincere woman under the influence of a spirit all that she may need is one encounter with the power of god and she's free and she will be one of the nicest women in the whole world now you can manage you can beat yourself there's there was a gentleman that joined the queue after service and there were like three four five lines to him and i looked at him and i was surprised how could a spirit still be in this guy even after a very heavy service i was looking and i was seeing a spirit the guy was playing but in the realm of the spirit i was seeing so i kept quiet when the guy just came and stood close to me i said what's wrong and the guy said i'm i'm a thief i can steal anything i said ah that's it you see that that take that thief to the prison you you hang him there behind the bars and say promise and write an agreement that you will never touch anybody's biro again while he's doing that the spirit steps out and then the same human being will sign the agreement and the spirit will enter two weeks after going out something starts pushing him it's not him everybody will beat him at home and say what do i do with this child because the mystery one minute prayer how many minutes one minute prayer under the heavy anointing will build that guy's 10 years of misery but because see let me tell you ignorance makes pain continue it prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain are we together and I just, it was just a simple tap I gave him on the head. And that was the end of it. That wild, wicked spirit. Because the gentleman confessed that he was willing to be free. How about people that come here, you see someone standing, almost staggering. And you say you came, you, you smoked something before you came to church. He won't argue. That's a sign that he wants to change. But there is something he does not know. See, the house of God is truly a blessing. It's a place where the mysteries that are responsible for your desire are given to you. That's why it matters. Are you seeing the reason why God loves crowd? The crowds are made of people. The people are made of their needs. They need access to the truth to be free. That's how we change society. I can tell you something. And I say it with all my heart and with all joy. By the grace of God. The marriages that will happen in this ministry will be heaven on earth. Listen, it's not just prophecy alone. The keys have been given. Some of our loved ones here who are married, you see the peace and tranquility. Regardless of what, there are some kinds of evil that cannot happen. It's gone. Do you know why? Knowledge. There are people here who have married different tribes, the same tribe, but same knowledge. The same knowledge has brought them into the same kingdom culture. I've said it again and again that we will all be great. You believe that prophecy? And that the best part is that we will all know ourselves. You will see it. It will start one step. Don't forget about what you have not gotten today. Line upon line, you are walking. You are taking that step and it's in the name of the Lord. And God is helping you. You may not look like it. But the hand of God is upon you. There is a mystery that is navigating you towards the right path. Hallelujah. Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is a work that should be approached with the wisdom of God. The word of God represents the wisdom of God. What is the wisdom of God? The scriptural solution to every problem on earth. The scriptural approach, his modus operandi, his method is called his wisdom. God's approach to life is his wisdom. God's approach to life is his wisdom. And the Bible is full of it. Jesus himself, the epitome of wisdom. When he came upon the earth, we saw the way he approached life. The spirit of the Christ empowered several people from Genesis to Revelation and they manifested dimensions of living that were supernatural, enviable, admirable. And the Lord has said, this is our year of triumph. 
we are not going to triumph just through desire it will be on the strength of what we know hallelujah there is something we must know there is something i need to know to be higher than where i am my limitation in life right now is the limitation of how far i've been able to access the wisdom of god there's more i've only scratched the surface if i submit myself and i learn more i rise more because i begin to see how predictable my life can be on the strength of wisdom my journey so far is a journey of searching the wisdom of god like a man in a gold mine searching for it when you find it you rejoice because you can stand on the strength there was something i found out about the anointing there was something i found out about miracles signs and wonders it didn't just happen there was a day i found it there was a day i found something about favor it wasn't always like that it's not just time that brought favor no time just continued passing and by the mercy and the grace of god something was accessed listen there is something you can access today that can make your seven days be equivalent to the blessings of five years it's not a prayer it's the truth there is something you can find that can compress the sufferings and the hardship of men my assignment to you this year is to help you understand this and to through emphasis reiterate it again and again until it becomes your conviction if it is not your conviction you will never walk in it let me tell you the truth these things i teach were not things i started teaching this year i've started teaching it before so don't think it's because god has helped today that i say it's easy to no 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 the wisdom of god what is god's call to you tonight stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing if you are not getting it settle down something is wrong did you hear what i said stop guessing prophesy to somebody stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing no stop guessing everybody doesn't like me what do i do stop guessing there is an exact principle that is responsible for delightsomeness stop guessing why is it that everything i touch doesn't work stop guessing please say it again say it to somebody stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing inside outside online stop guessing it's risky to guess the moment anything is not working in my life i settle down i need to look at this something must be wrong there is something i'm not understanding it makes your journey easier than just guessing trial and error you don't have that much of time for trial and error man of god the power of god is not flowing in your life stop guessing did you hear what i said stop guessing you are not getting something you pray for somebody and say it is done he goes to another man of god just looking at him and the demon goes out stop guessing you just told the guy it is done it is not done the, the guy still has the spirit is still there are we together the person came to you for prayer you now came and said oh um, i've been suffering bad luck my whole life everything is going wrong and he said really father we thank you we ask that um, this gentleman be free he says amen now the fact that he said amen does not mean heaven said amen the pastor prayed don't say they prayed for me who prayed for you what did the person who prayed for you know what did he know while he was praying for you i can pray for this person but the efficacy of my prayer is tied to the limitation of the knowledge i know don't just say they prayed for you who prayed for you and what was what what is the the reservoir of the spiritual knowledge that was resident in the person who prayed for you it's not just that they prayed for you so you tell this guy go in the name of jesus it is done this gentleman goes and nothing happens stop guessing the person comes somewhere else other than your own place are we together and stands and someone looks at him and says hold my hand i bless you that's it 
this gentleman walks out before he gets home an alert has come a call has come is that guessing no sir a gentleman prays for twins over his sister comes for koinonia drops the result when he was praying the twins did not know they were praying for them but they still came out as twins is that guess remember he was not the husband of the wife he was a brother ah. if you can pray for twins and they come out twins think of what else you can determine right on paper and say after two years rent over you wrote it on paper two years later you are standing in your own house where you can set the rules and not have anyone harass you do you believe this that means there's something you can write about your job and say in the name of Jesus by October I am employed gainfully employed and then you write a salary structure Lord I'm trusting you 150 to 200,000 while you are writing it those who don't know God say you are a stupid person don't mind them don't be angry they are only revealing to you what they have not been taught so don't argue you argue you have brought yourself down you write it by October you are in a job 150,000 for what he said he's able to do are we together yes you can make up your mind and say in the name of Jesus I love God but I'm not going to marry a fool. I won't marry a stupid man. I'm going to marry somebody that loves God, loves me and is serious. While you are saying it, your friends will say, you, you better just say yes to any man that comes. So the way we do this thing now, go online, find any photo you want, click like on Facebook, pursue that person till he says yes and marry quietly. That is their own way. And they will give you one or two testimonies of those who it worked for. Did they tell you they are in peace now? You say it and you confess. And you don't just confess as a lady and stop there. You now say, okay, I understand that life is about partnership. Lord, what is my contribution? You can't sit down not doing anything and want God to carry his son that he has refined and worked upon. Worked diligently upon him. Brought out the best in him and, and just give you. God is not unjust. Are we together? Lord, what do I need to do? And God starts working on you. Materialism, throw it out. Be mouthy and talking anyhow, throw it out. You must be of a meek and a quiet spirit. You want to marry a great man, this your talk talk, you will tear down his business. God has helped this guy before your arrival. You won't come as a destroyer. Are you ready? And so you are, he's working. He's taking it out of you. In two months, you, have, you are transformed. You have become such a virtuous lady. You who will be running your mouth, talking all kinds of things. You who say, if, if the guy does not have this, if there's no jeep, I will marry. God has worked on you. And that way, he can now bring you to the person he has destined for you. And you will now be a blessing. The same way as a guy, any lady you see, ah, this lady is pretty. You are not doing anything. You are not serious. You don't know God. You don't know the loss of life. There's no structural establishment. God is not helping you. Yet you are just standing and making noise. The systems of God. Oh, I want to be a great pastor. And you start a church. One year, two years, three years, you are still on four members. Then you start criticizing and say, it's not everybody that has crowd. Oh, keep quiet. You are not getting something. Find out. Lord, what, what am I missing? And God says, one, no wisdom. Two, the level of grace, there's no result. Three, people are not being changed. Everybody you prayed for, there's no testimony. Why should people come? Members are not idiots. They will run to where God will visit them. Criticize them, they will not stop. Members are not stupid. In this Nigeria of today, oh no, no. People are wise. You can keep running your mouth against people while people look for where their solutions are. In the rain, they will stand. In the sun, they will stand. Because what they are going through is, is worse than the sun. So they will stand anywhere to make sure they receive. Please, I want you to make up your mind today that anything that is not working in your life, just know, remember what I said, stop guessing. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. Just calm down. Invite the Holy Spirit spirit of the living god i am not getting something i am not getting something a meek heart 
I am not getting something. You gave me a beautiful wife, now I hate her. No affection for my wife again. You bless me. I'm about to throw my wife out of the house. I don't give money, nothing. What is wrong? Spirit of the living God, help me. Help me. And then light comes. Dwell with them according to knowledge. Ah. That means there's something I do not understand. I think my wife is another man. Now the Bible is bailing me out. Are we together? Yes. So the next time you meet your wife and she asks you she say how was the how was the um, how was your job today and you say fine say no give me details you won't get angry you will know that that's how women are dwell with them according so you will start we went by 7 a.m uh -huh. by eight o'clock they gave us tea uh -huh. they, you are paying that price because you now understand the systems while you are paying that price what are you going to get a reward you will get a hug you will get a nice meal and you will get you a darling you see that you made adjustment or you can stand and brag and say me i'm a one word man and punish yourself and your life will not go forward how about employees that never get promoted and think it's just demons if you like pour one gallon of anointing oil in your head you are not productive when they want to downsize people they give you you came to work two months they gave you warning you are not productive sir customer relations zero friendliness at work zero on the job zero experience zero humility to learn zero initiative zero even if i'm the one who employed you you are going yes you are going that you are a member of coin you are not productive so instead of just sitting down to get angry and say my boss is a wicked man do you know how much that guy collects 1.2 and he's giving me fifty thousand. no lord i love my boss i pray for him in the name of jesus i declare he is a leader there is something he knows that is setting him above he may not be a very nice man but in the name of jesus i pray for him and i love him and you walk up to him and say sir i just want to say thank you i've been working here eight months and i appreciate your mentorship and your leadership i just brought this wine to say thank you say what what, what is it for i mean I'm, I'm paying you no 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 sir i want to thank you much more than the salary you are changing my life if there is anything that can make me improve i am ready to learn always know that you are finding a very worthy mentee in me thank you sir and you go out you have programmed something he will act as if he did enter him keep watching the day promotion is coming and then somebody now comes to say do you know this person is yoruba he says hey, shut up it's my company it's my job you gave him memories you showed him that you were ready to learn the moment you step out he writes your name thank god this is the person i've been looking for and then he calls you one day and gives you a very difficult task and you start saying kai my boss has been on my case for two months he's testing you he's seeing that you are the next person who should be the director of that department he you have you are earning his trust but your lack of understanding is making you interpret it as wickedness you brought your boss's name for uh, uh, this thing uh, uh, miracle service you dropped it on and not just you didn't just write his name you say oh god punish this guy frustrate the tokens of this and that whereas listen if you had understanding and wisdom you would know that that's your lifting why does he ask me to stay back when others are going and then he gives me a hard job and then he shouts at me and i apologize and he does not say sorry he's not a fool there's something he knew that made him the boss keep watching while he's acting he's taking note one day he calls you and says look um i know that it's not my character to do this but i want you to know that i am absolutely impressed i have watched you for six months all the other people are arguing around those who are insulting him and then he lifts you overnight and then you continue praying for him again will he be perfect no he would do foolish things he would do stupid things but he's still your boss one day he calls you and says look you are so smart why are you still working in this corporation i think you are smart enough to have your own company and he says look call abc and tell them i said they should help you and in three years you have become a ceo of yourself 
you have become colleagues brothers and sisters lack of wisdom is destroying us are we not seeing this thing our interpretation about people and life is a product of a, a bankruptcy of life we call light darkness we call darkness light are we together we call a process failure we call failure defeat we don't know how to allocate names based on wisdom we call everything everything but god is teaching us tonight that the kingdom of god has systems i came with a fire burning in my spirit tonight that if you can learn the systems of god you will laugh when others are frowning and they will ask you why are you frowning and then you say there's a light that i see that's why i'm laughing you know? in spite of all the darkness that surrounds me and this light that i see only comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice there's a joy in my heart in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my soul only comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice and there's a peace hey, in my heart in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and these beats that i have only comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice you know why because you know you don't rejoice when things happen you rejoice to make them happen it says rejoice in the lord always so you don't rejoice just because you feel like no the holy ghost moves you you have rent you are writing trouble you are writing no child you are writing no job you are writing no wife you are writing and at the end of it you are dancing and people say ah, i've been hearing a song you say no 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 it's not i am dancing because this is what happens knowledge Are you hearing what i'm saying now and people look at you and say ah promise would you is it not you that i saw the landlord embarrassing you you claim you are going to church and you can't pay simple forty thousand. the moment you hear don't worry the normal thing is agitation but use intelligence in the spirit you get back and say lord i may not have forty thousand now but i have you i have peace i have joy i may go through embarrassment now but i know that the god i serve the god i serve the god i serve can arise for me they may mock you and say all kinds of things know that a mockery is a sign that satan is already agitated by your success there is something he's seeing mockery is a mystery in the spirit it's a sign that your result is appearing already let me tell you hear this hear this if anybody mocks you they gave you a sign that something is already arriving i promise you know this i'm teaching you deep mysteries mockery is a mystery madam are you a man or a woman this is 10 years and you are not married Ooh, start rejoicing don't cry it's a sign that a parcel has left heaven something is coming satan can see and so he says look frustrate them men walk by their senses do something frustrate them but those who are spiritual know they get inside the room and start dancing lord you are so good hey you are worthy of all my praise lord you are so good you are exalted as a love most high lord you are 
agitating you. You go to the place of work, they are insulting you. You come back for the hazards, they are insulting you. Don't, don't cry. If you cry, you are not wise. You begin to rejoice and you go to Satan. Satan, what did you see that is making you restless? What have you seen? What did you see about my baby that is making, because you see, the attacks were not like that. The attacks are a reaction. Satan has lived long in this planet. He knows we walk by sight. But for those who have been able to grow spiritually, you don't find their tears. You say, Satan, if I will ever cry, it's to God. Oh, it's not to you. Job was in a state in his life where nothing was working. Job was on the ground sat down on the ground and his wife told him he said cause god and die job said why are you talking like one of these stupid women ha god though he slay me though he slay me are we together now job's friends came from everywhere and everybody was talking every kind of nonsense let me tell you one of the worst things that can happen to you is to sit down and allow your life to be a subject of debate from people who are bringing all kinds of useless opinions but you love god why did you have the accident but you love why <laughs> joy joy forever who has killed your joy today i show you that it's an attack over something that is arriving who has killed your joy you prayed about finances your destiny helper is about to come but the devil is wrinkling your face with trouble hey they didn't pay salary i understand i understand i wanted to eat well today now that you cannot eat god you are faithful now you be god almighty god you know be my lord you know now you be God, now you be God, the Almighty God, you know be my Lord, you know be my Lord, now you be God, now you be God, Almighty God, you know be my Lord, you know be 
that I trust his ways. This is it. The key to my life and destiny. I can't be too mature to stop believing the word. No, sir. It is the foolishness of men to stop believing God. For anything God cannot do cannot be done. Anything God cannot do cannot be done. No. Can you just blast in tongues for one minute? Hey! Don't allow the devil shake you. Let him do that. My trust is in you. The ancient of day. My trust. everywhere inside and outside and let's begin to pray in the spirit this results we must command it results are commandable those online follow us hold hands with everybody close to you any nation day or night go ahead connect in the spirit inside outside pray we are men of faith and power believe the things that I'm teaching you and I promise you your life will surprise you we're going to take some time to pray that's why I'm stopping here I just sense that grace to pray prayer point number one I insist that I must succeed lift your voice and pray don't be quiet open your mouth everything Adam called Success is my destiny. I have decided to walk with Jesus. 
No turning back No turning back I have decided To walk with Jesus No turning back No turning back Prophesy your desire I have decided The wisdom to walk with Jesus, Jesus. No turning back, no turning, no turning back. I have decided to walk with Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. I have decided, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. For foolish and ignorant people to laugh at you while you walk the principles of the kingdom. Though men forsake me, still I will follow. No turning back. No turning, no turning back. Though men forsake me, still I will follow. No turning back. for obedience to walk the mysteries of the kingdom till they produce for me lift your voice and pray grace 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 to apply the kingdom grace to apply the kingdom the mysteries of the anointing the mysteries for prosperity the mysteries for peace for progress for influence grace, grace, grace you need grace, pray you need grace, pray you need grace, pray you need grace, pray Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Don't think we are rounding up. We have some prayers to do. Listen, I want you to mention the areas of challenge in your life and say, Lord, what mystery, what system in the kingdom are the results of this pain tied to reveal to me? Lift your voice and pray. Mention them. Don't keep quiet. Lord, my growth rate is slow. What is the system in the kingdom that is responsible for speed? I cry for revelation. Are you praying? Are you praying? Lord, I love you. I've seen the anointing on my life, but my finances are dying. Living from hand to mouth, what allocation in the kingdom is responsible for that result?
Sapakato soto pakata. Lord, I love you. I enjoy a healthy prayer life. My prayer life is robust, but there are no helpers in my life. What am I missing? What am I missing? Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army, but, but, but he was a valiant man in war. He excelled in an area, but there was an area that was bankrupt. Show me, open my eyes. Open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes. Keep praying. Everyone that ask it, receive it. Everyone that ask it, receive it. Everyone that ask it, receive it. Everyone that seeks, find. And to him that knocks, the door shall be open. We knock on that door. Jesus, the door. Reveal to me. Don't stop praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number three. Every door that opened before and then closed must open again. No. It must open again. No. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, wherever I missed it, I asked for mercy. But that door must open again. You showed me favor once. You must show me favor again. You gave me victory once. You must give me victory again. Pray. You sent me helpers once. They must appear again. My hand has tested prosperity once. It must come back again. I enjoyed speed before. I cried for restoration. I once was a landlord. Now I'm a tenant. Take me back, oh God. Restore my glory. Restore my honor. Restore my glory. Restore my honor. Restore the anointing. I used to carry the healing anointing once, but it no longer is working. Restore it, oh God. Restore the fire. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everyone. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ that the grace that is responsible for compelling men to apply the kingdom until they get result, may that grace be released on you now. May that grace be released on you now. May that grace be released on you now. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that every area of your life where Satan has taken an advantage of, by the power that is in the name of Jesus, I force restoration. I force restoration. Beginning from tonight, I declare, the mysteries that will bail you out of any trouble you are in, it must be revealed to you tonight in the name of Jesus and finally I pray for you I will keep praying this until I see it in your life the kind of favor you have never seen may the God I serve make it happen in your life 
I release upon you the ministry of the gift of man. The gift of man. The gift of man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are people here. Please keep standing everyone. There are people standing here. Inside, outside and many online. Who have never truly acknowledged the Lordship of Jesus. And whilst you heard me speak. The Holy Spirit kept speaking to you. That you need a new beginning. For others you have loved Jesus. But things have happened in your life here and there. That require an encounter with God. You need a rededication. Our time is gone. Wherever you are, please, I know there will be people coming from outside. I want to count one to five very quickly. Wherever you are, I want you to leave your seat and boldly come here. Say, an apostle, I want you to pray for me. I'm not ashamed to start afresh with Jesus. Make your way here. Don't wait for someone to come before you come. Be the first. Be bold. Come. God bless you. Appreciate them. They are coming. They need a lot of motivation. God bless you. Those of you coming from outside, wherever you are, make your way quickly. Bless you, my dear. Bless you, my dear. Quickly, come stand. Gentlemen, God bless you. God bless you. Quickly, are you coming? Win that war. Win that war. Make your way to Jesus. Quickly. You sang that you will serve him forever. You sang that you will love him forever. Those coming from outside, double up. Can you run? Quickly. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Make that decision. Make that decision. Make that decision. Let's appreciate them. You have one more minute and I'll pray for you. One more minute and I'll pray for you. Are there still people coming from outside? Clear the way ushers help them so they come quickly. Clear the way for them. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Please join us very quickly. Thank you, my brothers. Um, I appreciate your very bold decision. Everybody must have a beginning with God. A time when you have an encounter with him. I want you to mean this sincerely from your heart. You're not reciting a poem. Believe it and the Lord will help you. Lift your right hand and say this sincerely and passionately. Say, Lord Jesus. Say it again, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. That you are the son of God. I come before you. Tonight. Asking you. To forgive my sins. Asking you. To cleanse me. Tonight. Jesus. Is Lord of my heart. Lord of my soul. Lord of my body. I declare. That eternal life is mine. I am a child of God. From today. And forever. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, I present to you the ones you died for. I decree and declare that the grace that preserves, the grace that keeps, and the grace that builds be released upon them. I declare your sins forgiven. I declare that the hand of God is upon you. Let tonight be a new beginning for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory unto victory. That's what I speak over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for this decision. Hold on. I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands and um, you follow them. They will just have a few words with you and communicate to you and you'll be back. Let's celebrate them quickly. Hallelujah. Now, aside from those who are going... Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.